I just got here to the farm. Got the uh, F-350 fired up. Got a little frost on the windshield here this morning, so. Well, <clears throat> here we go. Well guys, I made it here to, uh, I'm kind of on the eastern side of Illinois. I'm heading to uh, Mattoon, Illinois right now. I'm gonna make a quick uh, detour. I'm gonna go look at a Hagee sprayer uh, out here. And uh, we're building all these wide drop toolbars back home for side dress and we need to get a Hagee and so that we can test all of these wide drops, test the hydraulic functions, uh, run liquid through them. So we need a 2014 or newer Hagee to do so. I spotted one out here. I'm going to go look at it this morning. Well, here we are, folks. Made it to Yetter Manufacturing in Colchester. Units. Well, just like that, we've got an empty trailer out here at Yetter. Sun's starting to shine. Uh, we unloaded the rotary hoe, the Valmar Cedar, and uh, now Cody's going to hop in a truck and I'm going to follow him over to their Macomb location. Well guys, I've made it home. Uh, <clears throat> just coming into cold water here. It's about 11.30. Uh, so, been on the road here for probably, I don't know, I guess 17 hours now, roughly. Um, so, covered a couple miles. But uh, yeah, making our way home, I saw a lot of planters and a lot of uh, uh, corn emerged out there. The corn that I did see, a lot of it was yellow. Um, I don't know if that was due to the, the cold, wet weather. That's what I'm guessing. Some of it may have been frosted. Um, like I said, it was 30 degrees overnight uh, in Ohio last night. So I made the trip, made it out to Yetter, uh, picked up everything, looked at a couple Hagee sprayers on my way out, and one on the way out, one on the way back. Uh, so covered a lot of ground today, but uh, we got done what we needed to get done. So it was good to run into Jeff and Cody out there at Yetter. Um, but for now, I am going to go home and hit the hay. Be back at it tomorrow. Thanks for tuning in.